Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aries. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the moon in the reverse, and this is Pisces energy. So you could be dealing with a Pisces or even a Cancer with this energy. Okay, so with this energy being the reverse, this is an energy of um, clarity, um, seeing something more clearly, um, trusting your intuition. I, I do see it's like some sort of secrets are being revealed to you or something, an illusion is being um broken down with this energy and um there is definitely or somebody here who was keeping their feelings hidden or suppressing their feelings it's like everything is coming to the surface now okay so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this um aries okay so the first card we have is the page of wands and this is fire energy next we have the death card scorpio energy so you could be dealing with scorpio and finally, we have the Four of Cups, Water Energy. Okay, so there's definitely here an energy of somebody, I'm seeing with the Page of Wands, it's like someone's reaching out to you, wanting to offer you um, some sort of opportunity. They may be wanting to invite you somewhere or to um, do something quite lighthearted. Um, this is somebody who may have kept their feelings hidden from you or buried because you do have the moon there but it's like they they are extending themselves to you but um this person is not going to lead with their emotions it's like they're going to extend themselves in a very casual way um but there is more that behind that you know it's like this person doesn't want to lead with that but it's still something that is there this person they, their feelings are deeper than what they show um However, with the Four of Cups showing up there, it's like you may be unimpressed by this person's way of reaching out to you. You may see it as, you know, not enough, not good enough. You know, it's like this Four of Cups is definitely that energy of being unimpressed. You know, it's like you want more from this person. And this person is, is definitely showing up as, you know, they're not showing up as more. You know, there's just this energy of them trying to appear casual, very lighthearted and, um, carefree or playful but it's like um you may be desiring depth from this person and it's you, you may feel like you're not getting that and there's just this energy of feeling unsatisfied um you may be even on the verge of closing something with them because we have the death card here but it's like you're you're wanting some sort of depth or intensity um but something about what this person is offering to you is just coming across as like it's not satisfying you so let's clarify these cards aries Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Cups, Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is an energy of being content with self. So you may be getting the self-love. You may be choosing to um, 
you know, rely on yourself to be more independent. I'm seeing emotionally independent. It's like this is a very a single energy, independent energy. So you may just be focusing on yourself, you know, giving to yourself what you've been, whatever you've been wanting this person to give to you. If it's especially something emotional, it's like you're going to be giving that to yourself. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Aries. Okay, so the first card we have is the King of Pentacles. And this is Earth Energy. Next, we have the Knight of Cups, Water Energy. And finally, we have the Judgment, Scorpio Energy. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Okay, so with the moon in the reverse and, um, you know, it's like this person is going to try again. I do see it's like this person makes an offer with the four of cups. It's like you reject their first offer or you, you show a lack of interest in their first offer. But there's still three more cups. And because you have the knight of cups, I do see this person extending themselves again. Um, but this time it's from a more um, emotional place. It's like more sincere and more heartfelt. Um, this could be why we have the moon in the reverse. This person is definitely... Um, you know, it's like they're releasing this need to suppress their emotions because this person feels very deeply for you. And um, at first, I do see that they may have been hiding their feelings, you know, but I do see them extending themselves towards you in a more emotionally available way. And this person definitely does see you as someone who's very valuable with the King of Pentacles. They do see you as someone who's stable, but they also see you as somebody who's reliable and, and also whole, you know, very grounded energy. This is somebody who feels like you know your worth. And I do see them um, trying again. It's like they're going to offer you something twice, you know, more than once. And with the Judgment card, again, I, I do see it's like they want to be approved of by you. This person does want your validation. Um, this is you um you know having to make some sort of decision here um but also you having a lot of good discernments it's like you know you can really trust your intuition as well at this time i do see it's like your judgment is pretty good when it comes to the situation and i do see you not settling for anything that doesn't align with you so this person definitely sees you as somebody who has a very good judgment and it's like they feel like they need to match your energy so i do see this person trying more than once multiple times to attract you or to offer you something okay so i'm going to pull out an oracle card for you um aries So the card says, confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. So with this energy, I do see it. This says you, your confidence is your key to success. So whatever you want from this person, don't settle for less than what you want with them. Because I do see this person will, it's like they'll counter the offer. You know, it's like you, you should, you can be confident enough to reject the first offer if it's too small. This person will come with another offer because we do have the Knight of Cups. So I do see, actually, you have a lot of power in the situation. Um, this person's emotions, their feelings for you are very deep. And it's like they may not have um, shown that or led with that. But, they, you know, it's like you actually have a lot of power over this person is what I'm seeing. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Aries. So the card says children. Your love life is being affected by children. Okay, so I do see this as that childish approach this person is initially coming towards you with. This is definitely um, not helping the situation. It's like this person may come across as, you know, playful, lighthearted, and, you know, not emotionally invested. And this could be what is turning you off from this person. It's, there's just this energy of you wanting something deep with this person and them initially approaching you very casually. So this could be that children energy. But I do see this person, you know, like they will um they, it's like they will adjust themselves according to what you accept is what i'm seeing okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you um aries Yes, 
so the card says daffodil, rebirth, and new beginnings. New beginnings are often disguised as painful endings. Okay, so this person definitely, I do see some sort of desire for rebirth, but the judgment card, it's definitely looking like it'll be um, up to you if you want this. We do also have the death and rebirth in it, um, card here. So, so there's definitely some phase, some chapter in the situation that is ending and a new beginning is starting here. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, um, Aries. I hope you have a really, really good day, Aries. Bye, Aries.